Welcome back. President Trump is making a campaign stop in our region tomorrow. On Monday, we spoke with Democrats, and today we're hearing from Republicans. Local 22's Spencer Conlin live now from the newsroom tonight. And Spencer, the president almost won the Granite State in 2016. He sure did, Lauren and Glenn. The Granite State also marked the president's first primary win. I spoke with Republican Party leaders today who think the president could turn the state red come next year. President Donald Trump will be in New Hampshire Thursday, his first stop in the Granite State since announcing his re-election bid in June. Jobs are booming. Wages are rising. Republican leaders say New Hampshire has benefited greatly from the Trump presidency. Unemployment is down to 2.5 percent. This is the lowest uh, since 1988, so the fourth lowest in the nation. 19,700 new jobs. That includes 1,700 new manufacturing jobs. Republican and National and Committee and spokesperson Elizabeth Harrington oh, says there is a good chance the state could go red in 2020. They care about the economy. They care about social issues as well. This is the most pro-life president we've ever had. And he's delivering on all these promises he's made. As far as the Democratic competition, Harrington says there is not a lot to fear. Citing his recent mishap, she calls current favorite, former Vice President Joe Biden, a bad candidate. They're all running very far to the left and advocating for big government socialist policies that would absolutely destroy the progress we've made over the past two and a half years. When President That's Trump right, takes the podium Thursday George. evening in Manchester, Harrington expects to hear about the economy. The policies are working for New Hampshire. They're working across the country and the president's going to get a lot of support. Now, as we mentioned earlier in the week, Democrats not as happy about this visit as you might imagine. They've held a handful of rallies leading up to the rally tomorrow. Local 22 will be bringing you live coverage from the Southern New Hampshire University Arena tomorrow. The rally itself kicks off at 7 o'clock, but those doors open at 4 o'clock to accommodate that usually large crowd. Live at the newsroom tonight, Spencer Conlon of Local 22 News.